Hello. So we're on a new puzzle now. Dad, team, back again. <laughs> uh, we're going to do this Star Wars poster. Look how amazing that is. Uh, sorry. Made by Buffalo Gaming and Puzzle. Mm, yes. Uh, so it's Buffalo Games. Uh, we have never done this brand before. Mm. And we like it because of, obviously, Millennium Falcon. Hello. This is what we're into today. You ready to go? Yeah, because this one looks hella hard. <laughs> Let's but, do this. It is complete. And one heck of a puzzle. It was enjoyable? Question mark. 
Exclamation point, exclamation point, two more question marks. Oh my god. Yeah. No, no bueno. <laughs> it was a very level nine puzzle. Uh, yeah. Kind of give you a close up look here. As you can see, like the colors are like pixelated and kind of all over the place. So each one of these pieces, it was just so hard to even locate where to even start. Like I tried, I tried so hard to just get him done because he's got this like nice clean outline. Uh, and it wasn't until just at the very end I was able to complete him. This was this part right here. This is by far the quickest. I got the quickest to get a base on and then uh, above here. But after that, it just took forever for the Millennium Falcon. It took forever for everything else. Yeah. And of course, I mean, obviously the stars are going to be pretty hard to, hard to do because there's no like, there's no like uh, obvious thing. Oh, no way. We found an error. Oh no! Oh no way! Oh no way! <laughs> we found our error. Where was it? Oh man, okay, so we just decided to call this complete, but we had two pieces that are very similar. Oh my god! Oh my god! Good eye. Okay, we're going way. to, um, I'm gonna get the grill started and I'm going to use this as ember. <laughs> Not because I don't like Star Wars, it's just this puzzle was very aggravating. This, I gotta admit, this tip for me, this was a 10 out of 10 for difficulty. What do you think? It has to be a 10, or at least a 9. I uh, And for enjoyability, I'd have to put it down there with like a 6. Don't get me wrong, it still looks great. So there's really random cuts. Uh, Obi-Wan's one of them. I don't know if you guys can see it really well. There's like an S curve on it which makes it super awkward when you only have these two together. Like you only have these two parts, so they don't click together. And uh, it made it really awkward because the pieces kept sliding around and uh, it was super duper annoying. And as you just saw, we had a ton of times in which we had similar uh, ones on top of each other and similar ones that we had to trade around. Mm -hmm. Final thoughts? Um. This will be going to someone else to try this out, to give it a shot, because <laughs> we don't want to keep we don't want to keep this one. It's nice. It wasn't bad for getting that target for 10 bucks. Yeah. But it was a challenging puzzle that kept us entertained and highly yeah. mild frustrated. <laughs> so this one is uh, by Buffalo Games uh, and we have another thousand piece puzzle from Buffalo Games over here. This one, I think, yeah, yeah. famous last words, I think it's going to be a little easier because there's so many more like big colors to it. So that's going to be our next one. And it's more crisp when it comes to... Yeah, it's, it's way less pixelated and, and drawn on, which I kind of totally dig. This one I kind of want to frame because it's pretty badass. So probably, we'll, most likely we'll probably be hitting this one next. Yes. If any. And um, we'll see how we'll, we'll then judge. Right, on which one which one was better? Oh, famous last words, right? Yeah. Alright, so this is our this is the next one up. This is also by Buffalo Games. Buffalo Games. Yeah. It's their fine art collection. Yeah. So that'll be our next one, uh coming up real soon. But for right now, we will see you guys on our next adventure. Bye. Bye. Bye.